What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here, back with more Let's Play Pokemon Red. So in the last part, we finished the Sylph Co. Uh, and got a Master Ball, and used it to catch a Pokemon that I don't currently have in my team, because it's actually, like, too strong. Um, also, I forgot. Also, I don't even know if I... Have I healed? I haven't even healed my po Okay. Uh, welcome back to Pink Goes Back to the Pokemon Center and Heals His Pokemon. Because I forgot. Let's go this way. After this gym, I'm also going to go ahead and catch an Alakazam. Uh, I'm going to be doing something that allows me to uh, get it back to a low level, even though it's going to come at, at like a hundred and something. I'll do it off screen though, because it takes a really long time. Excuse me. And then I'll explain what I did after that. See, who do I have? That should be okay. Venusaur is going to be uh, leaving this team pretty soon here. Man, I have three Psychic Pokemon already. I'm about to go get a fourth. Psychic Pokemon are busted. Anyway, this is the actual Saffron Gym. The Gym Gym. Um, and it is a Psychic type Gym. And since Psychic types are the strongest type in the game, clearly it's going to be the most difficult gym. Wait, why did I use that? Even if its special stat is pretty good, it's not going to be nearly as good as mine. So, the weird thing, okay, so I know I've talked about this before, but, oh, I do have, oh, right, because I already, I had to teach it the moves I wanted to teach it. Um, the weird thing about the, the special stat in this game, I'm actually going to throw it out here just to see what moves it has. Uh, the weird thing about this game is, the special stat in this game is obviously that it's both your attack and your defense stat, and I know I've brought this up before. But it means that, like, my best option for a lot of Psychic-type Pokémon are just my own Psychic-type Pokémon. Because they're the ones that have the highest... Okay, so I actually have basically all the moves I need. Drill Peck, Thunderbolt, Fly. I'll probably replace Thundershock with Hyper Beam, and that's gonna be it. Didn't even kill it. Um... Zapdos actually has a really high special stat, but it also has a pretty usable attack stat. I think it's like 90 or maybe 100. Yes, I'm gonna switch Pokemon. As I've mentioned multiple times before, my main Pokemon for this gym is actually going to be... Um, Tauros. But... Oh no, don't growl me, bro. But I, all my psychic type, like literally every single one of my psychic types is a good backup. And then I have Zapdos, obviously. Um, because all of my psychic types have super high defense, or special, special stats. <laughs> like I can't even just say special defense stats, it's just special stats. And because of that, I can really just throw out any single one of them, and most of them have non-psychic moves. The only one that's probably in a bad place is Executor, just because his other move is Mega Drain, and it's super duper weak. I actually don't remember what the pathway here is, so I'm just going to start taking random tiles. It's been a long time. I used to remember. Dude, why are you holding your leg, bro? Oh my god, this will stop! Oh, excuse me. I'm kinda tired. Kadabra has... I th think a hundred... Yeah, 125 special. Making it, you know... Really, really goddamn strong. But... 
Its defense is like 25 or 30, I think. So, in that situation, it's way better to just use uh, Stomp than anything else. Yeah, I'm saving frames by not using a super effective move right there. This is a speedrun, apparently. Mr. Mime has always been, like, the weirdest... Oh, actually, hold on. I can just kill it with this. The weirdest Pokemon to me, because... In... Okay. So... There are Pokemon that can only be one... Really? It just used Barrier? Oh my god. There are Pokemon that can only be one gender, obviously. Um... I'm just gonna go this. There's obviously things there's like Nidoran and stuff like that. Those- oh my god, and light screen. I hate you forever. It's gonna do like nothing. Or I'll get a critical hit and kill it. That works too. Oh yeah, Zapdos has a really high critical because it has high speed stat. But, uh, there are Pokemon that can only be like one gender. But for some reason, Mr. Mime was not decided, like, it, it, it was decided Mr. Mime was not going to be one of those Pokemon. Like, why are there female Mr. Mime? That makes no sense. You should have just, like, at that point you might, should have just made a, like, a completely new Pokemon, called it Mrs. Mime. I don't know, man. Mr. M oh, also, Mr. Mime can only be obtained in this game via a trade. There's someone who will trade you a Mr. Mime for something. It's sort of like, uh... Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is also only available in this game through a trade. Um... That... <laughs> when I was a kid... I mean, obviously, if it's one of a kind, it's gotta be really rare. Like, and really strong, right? I... Fucking, I just... I'm putting you to sleep. No more use of barrier. So, like, Jinx. I got Jinx at one point. And I trained it up, and Jinx was actually really strong. And it had, you know... It was the only Pokemon that I had a, that I could get other than like Articuno that had like really good ice, like really good stats and also access to you know ice moves. Granted, I mean I didn't learn until way later that the reason it was so good is actually because of its psychic typing. But I was like, okay, so these trade Pokemon must be really good. One of the other, and I mean Mr. Mime also, it, like Mr. Mime's not bad. It's got a high enough special stat. It's got. Okay, it's got good speed. It's like a worse version of Alakazam, basically, but, I mean, every psychic Pokemon is a worse version of Alakazam, so whatever. But, I got Farfetch'd and I never trained it up, and I just assumed it would be really good, right? Because, I mean, you it's one of a kind. You only get it through trades. So then Gen 2 rolls around, and you can actually just catch Farfetch'd, and I just catch one, and it's terrible. And I get super, like, like, I, I didn't learn until, like, way later in the game that it was terrible either. Like, it, it, like, I trained it up, I was like, this is gonna be, this Pokemon's gonna be great. And then, like, I had it at, like, level 32. And it just wasn't doing anything, I'm like, is it because of its typing? Because, like, its typing isn't that good? And I just, like, compared it to another Pokemon I had. I had, I compared it to, like, I don't know, I think I had, like, an Ampharos at the time. I always have an Ampharos, I love Ampharos. And... Yeah, sure enough, it, it just happened to be bad. Like, really, really, really bad. <laughs> and I was just like, what the hell? And I guess it, like, it should have, it should have been obvious to me, like, if you can just catch it out in the wild, like, I mean, obviously now, in Gen 2, if you can catch it out in the wild, it can't actually be rare. It must be just, like, a whatever Pokemon. It's no longer one of a kind, so that should have, like, been obvious, but it wasn't. <laughs> and I caught one and I used it, and then eventually it just became my cut and fly whore. Uh, that's all I used it for. 
Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for its psychics. You want to see Sabrina? I can tell. Yeah! You had to be psychic to know that, that I came to a gym to meet the gym leader, you fucking moron. Oh god, it's a Slowbro. Slowbro might actually be the second most dangerous um, psychic type in the entire game. Uh, because it is the only psychic type that learns amnesia and also has a really good defense. Uh, Toby Bro, the really well known set of Slowbro that has amnesia, is an incredibly dangerous set. Uh, after one amnesia, it, its special stat goes up to like six something, and after two amnesias, it's already up there at 999. And with 999. Wow, just please stop. With 999 special, like. There's basically nothing that can deal with it. Uh, and the problem is, its defense is also still really, really good. Um, at that point, it just becomes about stall, really. Like, because generally, you're looking at a Pokemon who has Amnesia, Recover, Psychic, and then, like, a last move. Oh, hey, we found Sabrina. I may lose this, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Even though, according to uh, Worcester, it is impossible to lose this fight. I saw a video where he, like, was speed running. I guess. It was just a clip, and he basically almost got ruined in this fight, despite him talking about how it is impossible to lose this fight. But anyway... I forgot what I was talking about. Right, Toby Bro. Dude, why do you have a whip? Like, I've always just thought Sabrina has to be a modified sprite. They just modified her from another sprite. Like, why else would she have a whip? But anyway, yeah, Toby Roy, like, if you're about stalling at that point, you basically just, like, throw out a psychic type, like, uh, Starmie or, um, Starmie or Alakazam and just start throwing up, like, uh, light screens and kind of hope, like, just kind of hoping to stall it out of PP. Because its moves don't have a, like, its actual attacking moves don't have a ton of PP. The problem is one of those moves is Psychic, and if they get a, uh, what the hell, a Venomoth? Venomoth isn't Psychic? I forgot, what? Why the hell does she have a Venomoth? Um... Venomoth is bug flying, right? Like, I'm not... I mean, I know it's not psychic, but I can't remember if it's bug poison or bug flying. I'm pretty sure it's bug flying. It is not. It is bug poison. Okay, then. Getting you some experience too while we're at it. I don't remember her having a Venomoth at all. Like, I'm almost certain she didn't have a Venomoth. And then her last Pokemon's gonna be like a level 40 something Alexam. Yeah. That's actually a really scary Pokemon right there. Why did I use Earthquake? That was the wrong move. This is assuming I even survive a Psybeam. Oh god. That's really bad. And Earthquake's not gonna kill it. Body Slam probably would have. Um, my Pokemon's just dead at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Time to throw in a backup. 
Obviously, I have Zapdos, so... I have an answer to this anyways, but... Oh god, it knows Recover, that's right. I really want to paralyze you now. Don't do it! Don't do it! Stop doing it, I swear to god. I will switch into Zapdos, and I will murder you. Or I'll get a crit and you'll die. Yeah! Level 36. My defense stat is not looking as good as I'd like it to. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earn the Marsh Badge. Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Storm Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. That's a lie. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this team with you. This is Psybeam. Or no, Psywave. That's right. Where do you get Psybeam then? Whatever. Psywave is really bad. Don't use it for any reason. Man, now I have to get back. I don't remember how to get back. Cool, I'm back. No! Out of the state of the maze. Psywave does damage based on your, like, level, I think. And then it can be anywhere from, like, two times your level to, like, half of your level. It's not really good. Uh, also, up here, there's a girl that if you give her a polka doll, she gives you the Mimic TM. I don't want it, though, so... I'm not getting it. Anyways. So, the next thing to do is catch an Alakazam. Let's go do that. It also just so happens that the next gym we need to go to is on Cinnabar Island, so... Off to Cinnabar we go. We're actually approaching the end of the game. Now, obviously, this is 7th gym here. Oh, also, I never showed this off. This is the laboratory where you can go to get your fossils turned back into Pokemon. Talk to uh, one of these guys. I think it's this dude. Nope, he wants Ponyta and trade one for a seal. Uh, yeah. I'm an important doctor. <laughs> way, to, way to talk yourself up, buddy. But yeah, if you if you have fossils, he'll turn them back into Pokemon. They come out at level 30, so they're actually not that bad. It's not like the Lapras you get at level 15. I will not deposit my bike. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit this. And I'm gonna go ahead and deposit this. And then I'm going to also... Wait, is that this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go ahead and set rare candies to duplicate. I'm going to need those. But yeah, the, uh, the Pokemon you'd want to get if you do end up using one of the false Pokemon is actually Omastar. It's just better overall than Kabutops. It's got... Really good defense, really good special. That's really all you need. Like, at that point, you've got both an attacker and a defender right there, and it learns, you know, uh, it learns useful moves, it learns Surf, it learns Ice Beam, it learns Blizzard. Um, that's really all you're gonna get, unfortunately. There's not much more beyond that. Oh, I may off-screen this because this is going to be really boring. In fact, I think I will. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, I found him. Gotta catch myself an Alakazam. Uh, let's, let's throw an Ultra Ball at it. That'll work, right? I know, I'm good. Alakazam, get. The Psy Pokemon. 
His brain can outperform a supercomputer. Its intelligence quot quotient is said to be 5,000. Am I good at a nickname? Uh... Um, hmm. Hmm. I got nothing for this one. His name is OU. Okay. So. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Cut. We're not gonna be using Cut anymore. And we're gonna go ahead and get OU. Check out its stats. 443 special, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Psychic Reflect Recover Psybeam, that's fine. Um, I don't even know what it can learn other than that. Definitely not teaching it that, can't use that. Can I use Thunderbolt? Not able. Can definitely use that, it already has it. And it's not able to use that. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at its moveset before that. Uh, before I decide what to teach it, but... Anyway, okay, I'll actually go over this right now. Anyways. So, obviously... Um, Alakazam is well over level 100. It's basically OP at this point. And it can go further. If you were to give it any actual experience, any any Pokemon above level 100, any experience, it's it'll actually roll back to level 100. Like, it'll just read how much experience it has, realize that that's enough experience for it to be at level 100, and roll it to level 100. However, you can actually roll it over if you get there is a limit to how high a Pokemon's level can be. I said I wasn't going to show this, but I'm going to show it now, I guess. There's a limit to how high a Pokemon's level can be. That level is unfortunately about 100 levels above what we're at right now, so I need all of these rare candies. If we rare candy it all the way up to, I think it's either 252 or 255, it'll hit its level cap. Look at that, 400 HP. <laughs> Oh man, its attack stat is almost usable now at 193. Almost. An actual usable attack stat is like... 286. Like, once you get up to there, you can kind of use your attack stat, but even then it's not, like, doable, really. Even worse is that defense, 176 despite being level 172. Granted, we don't have any stat experience to go with it, so, you know, there's that. 513 special, though. 516 special. Oh, man. If I used the Ditto glitch on this, I wonder what Pokemon I'd get. Like, are there even values set for this high? I might try that out later. Like, a lot later, just to see what I get. It'll probably crash the game. But this is why I needed to dupe my rare candies, and in fact, they got duped a couple times because I ran into a few missing nodes. You might notice Uncatchable is level 38 now instead of level 37 if you were paying any attention. Uh, if you were paying that close of attention. I ended up fighting some of the level eight miss 80 missing nodes just because those are one-hit KOs. They're easy enough. Still going. Oh, I almost want to use my speed feature, like, just... But I'm trying not to to use that like at all. Like I mean, if I was gonna use it, I'd be using it while I was confused. Hit yourself in confusion. Hit yourself in confusion. Hit yourself in confusion. Hit yourself in confusion. Oh, and for anyone who's wondering why, like during all of those fights, like for instance, when I was fighting the Golbats earlier, and I got on the last part, and I got confused, I wasn't like using a full heal or something. Part of it is that I forgot. Part of it is that even if I did do that. It, like, the move they use that same turn is going to just be Confuse Ray or Supersonic. Level 200. 593 special.
I'm about to hit roll to 600 here. I'm pretty certain when you're on 600 special, you can like one to two hit KO most Pokemon. The only thing that has a chance against you is like Chansey. And since Psychic can get a special defense or just a special drop, uh, I think with one special drop, Chansey just loses. <laughs> Not that it matters, this is not a, like, legal Pokemon. The funny thing is, look how bad its defense still is. It's averaging about one point of defense per level. Like, that's terrible. Sorry to make you guys sit through this. I wasn't planning on having this video be that long either. I was just going to be like, catch it do this off-screen, and then come back and be like, okay, we're gonna start the next thing in the next part, but... I just want to show this off. I also just want you guys to see how ridiculously high its stats get, because I actually don't even know myself. By the way, you can totally do this with a Mewtwo. Like, um... It's entirely possible to get a Mewtwo if you name yourself Red or anything with a D, a capital D in the third, fifth, or seventh letter of your name, you will catch Mewtwo instead of Alakazam. It's worth noting, though, that this Pokemon is basically unusable in its current form. You get one battle with this Pokemon, and that's it. It will then level up immediately to level 100 if you continue to use it, you know, at all like this. The only time you can use it is, uh, like, other than that is when you wouldn't get experience, the only time you wouldn't get experience is if your Pokemon either dies, or if your Pokemon, um, is being used in a Link battle, which, I mean, this is Pokemon Red and Blue, I doubt you're gonna get away with that. But, 701 special, Jesus. I had a conversation with Max about this the other day, I'm like, I'm pretty certain my level 255, uh, Alexam could one-hit KO his entire team, even though he seeded his team to have perfect IVs, he trained them, very, like, he made the most competitive team to play against no one with in his game. And, like, I'm pretty certain if I came at you with level 255 Alexam, you'd still just lose. And, uh, yeah, that statement is totally true. He, he averaged it out to me having something like 400 special. I'm like, dude, I'm sitting on, what am I sitting on here? 728 special. Yeah, I don't see anything coming in on this Pokemon. Oh man, imagine if this had actually been Starmie. Starmie would also hit somewhere around like 600 plus special, but would have access to like every move. <laughs> like, or even worse, something like, um, something like Zapdos or even, no, no. Actually, the worst thing would probably be Executor because then it would have enough speed to outspeed anything anyways. But it would still also have like these absurd stats to go with it. So this is the highest level I can be. Holy shit, 754 special. Now if I give it another rare candy, what should happen is... Yeah, it rolls over to level 0. But now I can just rare candy it back up as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do that off screen. Um, uh, once again, though, what's funny is, while it was at level 0, I actually could have just leveled it up to 100 immediately again. Because Alakazam is one of those Pokemon where it would, if it gets a small amount of experience while well, at that low of level, it rolls over and just, like, puts it at 100. But anyways, sorry for that that end part being really boring. Uh, that was like 10 minutes of that. Um, somewhere around there, at least. Actually, I don't think it was that much, but it was, it was a lot of time. Uh, so anyways, in the next part, the door is locked. We'll be actually, we will be going, we will not be doing the Cinnabar Gym. In order to do the Cinnabar Gym, we have to go through... <sighs> Cinnabar on... Oh, no, it doesn't... It, it, it doesn't okay, this is the abandoned, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. The abandoned research facility. It's got really annoying music. Like, I don't want to do it. But anyways, that'll be for the next part. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pink Reaper, signing out.